Japan, this is as big as it comes. Oh! He got hit with hey, he's got it. Ngayong darating na February 24, ay sasabak na sa isang blockbuster world championship ang Filipino boxing star at dating IBF super flyweight champion, Jerwin Pretty Boy Ancaas. Yan ay gaganapin sa Koko Gigan, Tokyo, Japan. At matapos maun siya may ang kanilang world title fight nung nakaraang Nobyembre, ay wala nang makakapigil sa matinding salpukan nila ng kapatid ng pound for pound fighter of the year at undisputed champion na si Takuma Inoue. Matapos magkasundo sa bagong pecha ng kanilang laban, ay hindi na wala ang gutom at pagsusumikap ni Jerwin. Makikita sa mga training videos nito ang nag-aapoy na pagpuporsigin nito para makuha ang pangalawang world title sa bagong division dito sa Bantamweight. Pagugunit ang dalawang sunod na natalo si Jerwin Ancaas kontra sa Argentinian na si Fernando Martinez. And the new IBF Junior at nakuha ang World Championship ni Jerwin Ancaas na hinawakan niya pagmula ng 2016 hanggang 2022 at naidepensa ng 10 beses. Kaya sa naging laban kontra kay Martinez ay makikita nating ibang Jerwin Ancaas ang lumalaban. Marahil hirap na sa timbang ng super flyweight at magpapatunay naman dito batay sa kanyang huling laban. Dahil lumakit ito sa mas mataas na timbang, pinakita ni Jerwin Pretty Boy ang kaas ang totoong fighting style na nakagis na natin matapos makapagbigay ng napaka-impresibong knockout win noong Hunyo. Nakita rin natin ang pambihirang lakas ng kanyang mga kamao at tila ito ang naging mensahe ni Jerwin Ancaas sa lahat ng kanyang mga kalaban at pinakita niya na ito ang sasapitin ng mga susunod na kalaban. Ngunit sa kabilang banda naman ay nasa winning streak si Takuma Inoue matapos manalo ng limang sunod-sunod pagkatapos matalo noon kay Nordin Obali noong 2019. Sa makatawit, maglilimang taon na siyang undefeated Ganun pa man, ay mas nananaig ang experience ni Ian Kaas dahil ang laban kay Takuma Inoue ay ang pang-40ang laban na nito sa kanyang pro boxing career. Sa so sobrang kagustuhang manalo ni Jerwin Ian Kaas, ay pagkatapos mag-training sa Amerika ay tinuloy ang pag-iensayo dito sa Pilipinas at nakikipag-sparring sa mga mas malalaking kalaban na kasing bigat na halos ni Natank Davis na nasa 135 pounds kasama ang ating national team kapansin-pansin din Nakapaligtaran ang kapatid ni Naoya Inoue ang power nito dahil si Takuma Inoue ay meron lamang 4 knockout wins sa kanyang labing walong panalo. Apat lang ang napapagsak ni Takuma sa kanyang buong boxing career. Kaya napakalaking chance na manalo ni Jerwin Ancaas at makuha ang pangalawang title sa kanyang pangalawang division. Sa ngayon ay wala pa tayong world champion. Kaya naman ito na kaya ang unang world championship ng Pilipinas ngayong 2024. Kaya matinding suporta ang kailangan ni Jerwin Ancaas para sa darating na laban lalo na sa labas ng bansa at sa Japan gaganapin ang laban samahan nyo muna akong balikan ang mga hindi malilimutang laban ni Natakuma Inoue at Jerwin Ancaas a lot of nerves on that young man China, US, Australia wherever you from, your hometown that's uh, the you know, it's postponed a whole month what's that like to you? Uh, you're supposed to fight and you just gotta go back You know, his trainer is in charge of that. A conditioning coach as well as a nutritionist. And you gotta have that. The last couple times, because there was a point where we saw him. And also a strength coach. She won the female IBF bantamweight title and then vacated it. But yeah, you see Gonzalez not really using his jab. His attack is the body. He likes to break guys down to the body. And then shoot shots up to the head. So expect a lot of body punching from both guys in this fight. Nice body shot right there from the guys. The guys is basically saying, okay, you want to go to my body? Well, I'm going to go back down. We'll go down to your body. We already saw that the Rock got finished. For now, it's Jerwin Agam Santiago Chile. He mentioned the percentage of his landed shot to her side, but he just loves to dig to the body and, and get it backwards. It make a make guy so comfortable. Well, kind of like what he's doing. 
right now. Right to the solar plexus. Got those earmuffs on, does it? You see those hands, bro? Hey, God, oh, beautiful shot right there. Look, you're going down to the body, and as you get your main son, is a lot of talent, a lot of good fights to be made. God. You know, you really stand in this ground, really sit down on his punches in the ring. Using his jab to oh, counter right oh, there. Oh, and he has oh, his oh, opponent oh, in trouble here. As Miguel Gonzalez is able to stay on his feet. But Angaja smelled blood and goes for the body shots. A little low there with that left hook. But Angaja is dangerous. But look at how the shots are. Yeah, you know, from Angaja. They're nice, short play shots. They're not wide. You know, so you know you for it. This fighter came in here with a desire to make history for his home country. He's fighting against Angaja's with a lot of hard work down. You die by the sword, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. By the sword. Yep. We see punishment to the body from Jerwan Akaha, who goes downstairs once again. And down he goes, but it's not a knockdown. Very smart from Gonzalez. Very, very smart from Gonzalez. Ooh, Jerwin Akaha swings and misses, but Gonzalez is not well. His legs are wobbly, and the left of the shot. It would have been better for him to go down, because if not, Wayne Hedgeman had no choice but to stop this fight. That's right. You know, sometimes when you hurt fighters, we just tend to go to, to the danger. You know, sometimes you got to be in there thinking. Take the knee, recover, allow yourself another chance, a fighting chance to come back and turn the tide. We talk about the lack of experience in big fights, and that yeah, big have come back to haunt Miguel Gonzalez. When he was hurt, if he goes down by those shots, that's fine. Or even takes a knee, Take the knee. but instead, he gets pummeled. I've been in fights where, where I knew I was hurt, and I knew if I got hit with one more big shot, then I need to take that knee before that shot happens. That would have been a perfect time right there for Gonzalez to take the knee. He just allowed Angajas to continue to tee off without throwing a single punch. This was smart. He took Angajas down with him. Wayne Hedgebeth said it's not a knockdown. Right. But then what happened after that tip was lack of experience. Definitely lack of experience, Bernardo. But you see Angajas just letting his hands go. Just waiting for the referee to step in and do his job. To protect him by those shots, that's fine. Or even takes a knee. Take the knee, but instead, he gets pummeled. I've been in fights where, where I knew I was hurt, and I knew if I got hit with one more big shot, that I need to take that knee before that shot happened. That would have been a perfect time right there for Gonzalez to take the knee. He just allowed Angajas to continue to tee off without throwing a single punch. This was smart. He took
took out Gahas down with them. Wade Hedgepeth said it's not a knockdown, right? But then what happened after that, Tim, was lack of experience. Definitely lack of experience, Bernardo. But you see Gahas just letting his hands go. Thank <laughs> you. 